Hello, everyone. Look at her in all her glory. Atraxa, the Praetor's voice. Yes, this is the uh, the final deck for the Commander 15. Uh, sorry, 16. Um, set. Yeah, Breed Lethality. It's all the colors except for red. So, uh, yeah, let's open it up. See what the other three foil legendaries are. Um, yeah, after this, I am done with uh, Commander 16. I will probably get the remaining two decks that I have never opened yet on the channel for Commander 15. There are two more decks. The green-black one and the blue and red one. And if you cannot remember the blue-green one, that's actually one of the very first that I opened way back. I believe already one and a half years back. Alright, so Atraxa, the Praetor's voice. Four mana for a 4-4. Four, four. Flying, Vigilance, Death Touch, Lifelink, and it's the beginning of your end step. Proliferate. Now, Proliferate is... You choose any number of permanents and or players with counters on them. Then give each another counter of a kind already there. Yes. This is just sick. This is insane. Imagine that. Flying and Vigilance. It, that, that, that's bad enough already. Death Touch. Alright. And Lifelink. Ugh. My god. And, pro and Proliferate. Ho oh, oh. ho. My guess is that is that this deck will focus around uh, counters for some reason. So the first one of course is a playable version of Atraxa because you cannot shuffle an oversized card back into your deck. Now the rest uh, we have here Ikra Shidiki the Usurper uh, a Naga Wizard for 5 mana it's a 3-7 Menace Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. And it has partner, so you can have two commanders if both have commander. Then we have Ishai, Oyutai Dragon Speaker, which is 4 mana, 1-1, one, one, flying. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Ishai, Oyutai Dragon Speaker. And it has partner, of course. And the last one, Rayan, the last of the Abzan. Which is 3 mana, 0, 0. Uh, when it enters the battlefield... Uh, oh, it, it enters the battlefield with 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Whenever a creature you control dies or is put into a, the command zone, if it had 1 or more plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, uh, you may put that many plus 1 plus 1 counters on target creature. Alright, and it has partner. So if this guy is your commander, by pff, by all means... Um, yeah, you can just uh, throw the counters on someone else if he dies. Very cool. Yeah, and uh, and I noticed that all these uh, these three with partner are all from Tarkir, and this guy here is from New Phyrexia, of course, the plane, not the sets. No, no, they are new. Right. So what do we have? We have faster creep. Uh, Thrumming Bird, of course. Absan Falconeer. Orzov Advocist. Uh, Tusk Guard Captain. Elite Scale Guard. Juniper Order Ranger. Enduring Scale Lord. Soul Ring, of course. Thalwar Stone. Golgari Signet. Orzov Signet. Simic Signet. Commander Sphere. Darksteel Ingot. Brave the Sands, Bread for the Hunt, uh, Disdainful Stroke, Solidarity of Heroes, Grip of Phyreses, Inspiring Call, Mortify, Putrefy, Ancient Excavation, Sylvan Reclamation, Tesseret's Gambit, Crystalline Crawler, uh, Deep Blows. Uh, Deep Glow Skate, Dualist's Heritage, Manifold Insights, Sublime Exhalation, Master Biomancer, Colonian Hydra, Gave, the Guru of Spores, 
one of the uh, old commanders from uh, the first commander set. Scavenging Ooze, Necroplasm, Champion of Lambhold, Vorel of the Hulklade, Custody Soulbinders, Forgotten Ancient, Bane of the Living, Corpse Jack Menace, Fathom Mage, Revel Arc, Vulture Zombie, uh, Cauldron of Souls, Astral Cornucopia. Wow, there's uh, three axes on it. That's uh, pretty insane. So I guess. Um, I guess that you would have to pay, let's say, six mana if you want to have two counters. I think it goes that way. That's pretty expensive. Wow. Hardened Scales. Citadel Siege. Uh, Cathar's Crusade. Mirror Weave. Languish. Nice card. Merciless Eviction. Spitting Image. Doom Blast. Darkwater Catacombs, Exotic Orchards, Murmuring Bosk, Sungrass Prairie, Underground River, Migratory Route, Treasure Cruise, then we go to some plains, islands, swamps, forests, Arcane Sanctum, Ash Barrens, Azorius Chancery, Command Tower, Dreadship Dread Reef, Evolving Wilds, Gogari Rot Farm, Opal Palace, Opulence Palace, Sandstep Citadel, Temple of the False God, Terramorphic Expanse, and Seaside Citadel. Alright, so, uh, yeah, alright, so this is the most expensive deck. Um, apparently there is one card in here that is like insanely expensive, but I don't know which one that is. Uh, usually when I check the price list, I memorize uh, which card is expensive. But for this one, I actually don't know. Well, alright, isn't that something new? Well, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, yeah. Next week, I will most likely be opening up the other Commander decks, hopefully. I don't know. I don't have them yet. Um, I will order them, and I hope that in the meantime, they will arrive on time. So, see you all next time. Bye.